This part three movie is short and sweet. Before you simulate the breaching and crumbling of the wall, you need to map and texture the bricks and debris to look like the rest of the castle. Select the dynamic block selection set, and then holding control, select also fragments and static blocks. Apply a UVW map modifier to the selection. This will take some time to process, as it is instancing the modifier to over a thousand objects. When done, set the mapping type to box, and set the values to 350 by 844 by 570.76. These values are the same as the UVW map modifier already on the original wall. Select any block. Since the UVW map modifier is instanced, modifying it on any one item carries across the others. Go into Gizmo subobject mode and move it down so that its top matches the top of the wall. Exit subobject mode when done. You can collapse all selected objects to meshes again so that the UVW map modifier is baked and doesn't have to be processed. Make sure all the bricks and debris are selected and go to the Utilities panel. Choose the Collapse tool. Make sure it is set to collapse into multiple objects and then click Collapse Selected. If you select individual pieces now, you'll notice that they have no UVW map modifier any longer. Make sure all the bricks and debris are selected again, and go to the Material Editor. Apply the material found there to the selection. It represents the material for the castle walls. Now that you have properly set all the simulation elements, you are ready to use the Mass MassFX toolset. This is exactly what you will do in the fourth and last movie in the series, where the whole project comes together.